Ah, welcome, friends. We are together. We are one. Big smile. Blissing up. Getting those good brain chemicals happening. I want you to enjoy this. All right, we're talking about releasing ourselves from thought addiction and creating new thought drugs, okay? Every thought is a drug. It's a chemical event that's going on and conditioning you, leading you into joyous prosperity and great health, wealth, and wisdom, or it's taking you down. Every thought is a drug that's affecting your entire structure, okay? We know that. So this one is called Beware the Triangle of Doom. <laughs> and I don't want to spend too much time talking about what's wrong, okay? That's not it. But this is a very simple thing to know. The triangle, this has been taught by many different people. The triangle of drama, it's called. Just don't let it happen, okay? Just, if you get caught in it, it's worse than the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> it's the perverter triangle or something, I don't know. It's just not good for you. So the triangle of doom, the triangle of drama is the victim, the persecutor, or the savior. Don't be either of those. Don't be any of those, okay? Don't be it. As soon as you're a victim, oh, somebody does this. You know, these people, they're always doing that. As soon as you be the victim, you are being the persecutor too. These idiots, why do they keep doing this thing? So I'm the victim of them and I'm judging them and persecuting them at the same time. So that's victim, persecutor, man. They run so close or else you're just the victim. It's like, oh, ah, life is so hard. You know, I'm just a victim of my thoughts and my chemicals that I can't control. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just a victim of myself. But if you're going to blame somebody else for it, it must have been how my parents raised me. You know, now I'm persecuting. Okay. And then another terrible thing to do is to try to save someone. Maybe they aren't yours to save. Maybe they have to learn their lessons their way. So if you catch yourself being the savior, that just means you're upset. Oh, I'm worried about little Billy. You know, he's only four years old and he's drinking beer every day. You know, I'm just worried about. Him. Well, that's better than what he did in his last life, okay? <laughs> so if you think you have to save somebody, I know I'm being ridiculous there, but you'll be worried. You know, you'll be attached. You've got quantum entanglement happening. Don't do it. Don't try to save because you will inevitably become the victim. They don't want you to save them and they will tell you to buzz off like I'm telling that fly to buzz off. They'll tell you to buzz off and they'll hurt your feelings and then you'll be persecuting them. Ah, they, they never listen to anything I say. So avoid being the savior. However, it's okay to be a friend. It's okay to be a listener like we talked about, you know, play the game. It's like, well, what do you like about your life, you know? But you have to be careful that you listen first and make sure that you're not cheering them up against their will, you know, because that, that pisses people off. So listen, you know, be a teacher, okay, when it's the appropriate time. Send them these videos. <laughs> Don't be attached to them. Don't be attached to them getting the result, okay, because that's quantum entanglement and it will bite you. And then you'll become the victim of the way they slander you for being too damn cheerful <laughs> and not being realistic about the need to worry about stuff. Let them go. Let them learn at their own pace. You can certainly bless anybody. You know, you could say your prayer any way you want to them. God bless them. They're doing the best they can. They're in the right place for them. You know, they'll learn eventually in their own way, in their own time. It's not my problem. No, not my circus, not my monkey. You know, that's a good one for not being the savior. Okay, so avoid <laughs> the triangle of doom and catch it. Whenever you're unhappy, it's going to be one of those things. Pretty much, anytime you're unhappy. You know, so you can just stop it. Stop it and forgive. If somebody, you know, has done something to you and you're the persecutor, just forgive. And if you don't know how to forgive, of course, ask. Hey, 
how can I reframe this so that it's no big deal? You know, how can I reframe this so it's okay, you know? And then ask yourself the next question. How do I want to feel? Because forgiving is a joyous way to feel. I mean, when you forgive someone, it's for you. You know, you feel like you're unassailable. You feel strong. You feel powerful, you know? And if you don't know how, just ask, how can I reframe this? Again, we're coming back to the gift of a question for yourself, all right? So not too much on that, but just know if you're unhappy, you're probably in the triangle of, you know, drama, all right? So, hey, if it works for you, you know, use it, okay? And please let me know how it's working for you. If you get any insights, please communicate with me. And if uh, you know somebody that this would help, please send it to them. Join me on Patreon for a whole bunch of more transformation games and, and insights into how to work with that brain of ours, all right? That's patreon.com forward slash John McKenna. All right, thank you for being with me today. I sure appreciate you. Have a great day.